After chemotherapy, radiation and two painful surgeries, Tanya Petrilli is finally cancer-free. The 37-year-old was diagnosed with breast cancer last September. It was an ongoing thing that you kind of had to deal with daily. After making it through one surgery, Tanya thought she was in the clear, but surgeons weren't convinced they'd removed all the cancerous cells. So she was told she'd have surgery again, just like one in four breast cancer patients. I feel like you're taking a step back. It actually takes a lot longer to recover the second time than it would have just having it the once. With funding from the National Breast Cancer Foundation, Dr Brendan Kennedy and his team at the Harry Perkins Institute hope they can soon remove the need for that second surgery. Eventually this will become a cancer glove, created using a 3D printer, the glove can detect microscopic cancer cells. The finger can only identify gross or large tumours, so it's really that d differentiation of very, very small bits of tumour which is key to ensuring effective removal of the tumour. While 3D printer technology isn't new, the cancer glove concept is. In fact, it's a world first. And while it's only a prototype now, Dr Kennedy hopes it'll be ready for testing in surgeries by the end of the year. I really hope that it, it does progress quickly to stop other people having to go through two or three surgeries. Amelia Brune, 7 News.